This is Rachel Zeiden with a special report on the seven qualities that make a story newsworthy. The first quality is timeliness. The more recently something happened, the more relevant the story is. Say, for example, Mr. Stickfigure came to our school to give a speech about how awesome journalism is today. Since it happened recently, it's newsworthy. However, if Mr. Stickfigure gave the exact same speech five months ago, that's not newsworthy. It's not recent enough for people to be interested. The next quality is proximity. Being physically near to a story makes it more interesting. A soccer game that's happening on our school soccer field is newsworthy because it's happening close by. But if the exact same soccer game took place in Timbuktu, our readers wouldn't really care. It's not close enough to be newsworthy. The third quality of newsworthiness is rarity. My first journalism professor had a test for whether a story had this quality. It had to make the reader stop and say, gee whiz. For example, a dog biting a man would probably not make a reader say, gee whiz, because it's not a very unusual event. However, if a man bit a dog, a reader would probably be surprised and exclaim, gee whiz, upon reading the story. The fourth quality of newsworthiness is prominence. Minor things become interesting to readers when they happen to prominent people. If average Joe falls flat on his face walking to school, no one is really interested. But if President Stickfigure falls flat on his face walking out of the White House, it's suddenly newsworthy because it's happening to a prominent person. The fifth quality of newsworthiness is impact, basically how a story affects the reader's life. If our school decided to change its grading policy, it would be newsworthy because it would have a direct impact on our readers' lives. But if a school in Amherst, Texas made identical changes to its grading policy, our readers wouldn't be interested because it doesn't affect their lives at all. The sixth quality of newsworthiness is novelty. This basically means the first or last time an event takes place. For example, the maiden voyage of the ocean liner, the Queen Elizabeth II, was novel because it was the first time it had ever taken place. However, the 571st voyage of the QE2 is not novel, and therefore not newsworthy. The seventh and final quality of newsworthiness is human interest. This is where you, as a writer, can explore virtually any topic as long as you can make it interesting to other human beings. You can write about the challenges of living with a disability or profile a young ballerina. Or you can find out what makes the ice cream on everyone's favorite shop on Main Street so darn good. The sky is the limit as far as these stories go. So there you have it, the seven things that make a story newsworthy. Remember to address these categories as you research and write stories and have fun with it. This is Rachel Zeiden signing off for ETD News.